am Heather with Trusty Salem Paddle at 5300 Highway 70 West in Moorhead City, North Carolina. Today I'm talking about our best seller, which is the Wilderness Systems Recon 120 HD. Uh, HD stands for Helix Drive. This is the Wilderness Systems Helix Pedal Drive, which comes standard on this model. The boat is 12 feet long, 115 pounds with the drive and seat. If you remove the driving seat, it's going to lighten the load by about 25 pounds. The boat features a carry handle, gasketed, dry storage in the bow. This tray is removable, which gives you nice access through the hull to chase wires, mount a transducer, however you might like to customize the boat. Um, there's 16 inches of gear track either side. Also, for customization of the platform, you can add a fish finder, your rod holders, or even a cup holder and you know a place to put your phone. It just depends on how you want to use the boat for your own preferences. The, the bow also features a paddle park. And when the paddle is in the park, it doesn't encumber the use of this drive system. It's really smooth, forward and reverse. You can easily hold position in this boat. As you approach shallow water and you need to withdraw the drive system, you line up your prop. It's spring-loaded and it'll release into this slot and it's completely withdrawn out of the water. To further remove it out of your way, it and you can tilt it forward and then to deploy it again put it lash it in place and then simply push down traction pads come standard the seat is like an old car seat it's really easy to move backward and forward there is also traction pads just behind the seat, so still sort of, you know, mid-ship that you can stand on. The Helix Drive also comes with a, a rudder kit, so that is a, the standard on this boat. To deploy the rudder, you pull on the toggles, that is to drop it down, to pull it up. The top, there's another toggle on the other side, and it'll withdraw out of the water. The steering is very responsive. All in all, the drive is intuitive and easy to use. The steering cables are tubed inside, it should you ever need to replace them, but the cables are made with Spectraline, which is you know strong as steel and non-corrosive. In the stern, there's a big tank well Again, it's just a way to customize the boat how, how you might like it. So if you want a big cooler, it could accommodate that. If you want the Yak Attack Black Pack with rod holders, it can accommodate that. All in all, it's a great boat for the price. You get a lot for the price. It's easy to use. We will have it available for you to try at our demo day on May 15th at the 10th Street launch um, on the waterfront in Moorhead City. Andrew and I will both be there and we would love to show it to you in real life.